MS Excel is a part of MS Office. It is used for tabulated work. The tabulated data is keep in a sheet known as spreadsheet. It is easily calculated by defining the formula. And if you change the value of any cell, the result is automatically changed everywhere. The Excel is very popular for data processing in offices. Now we will study about a spreadsheet package by Microsoft MS Excel. Spreadsheet A spreadsheet is a computer application that simulates a paper accounting worksheet. It displays multiple cells in a two-dimensional matrix or grid consisting of rows and columns. It is a table of values arranged in rows and columns. Each value can have a predefined relationship to the other values. Each cell contains alphanumeric text, numeric values or formulas. Spreadsheets are frequently used for financial information because of their ability to recalculate the entire sheet automatically after the change to a single cell is made. Microsoft Office Excel provides powerful tools and features that you can use to analyze, share and manage your data. In Excel, you can quickly create, format and expand an Excel table to organize the data on your worksheet. You can use MS Excel to create spreadsheets which are used primarily for storing and manipulating numerical data for example, you could create the balance sheet of a company on a spreadsheet and set the totals to automatically add up. Worksheet The primary document that you use in Excel to store and work with data is called a spreadsheet or worksheet. A worksheet consists of cells that are organized into columns and rows. A worksheet is always stored in a workbook. Excel supports up to 1 million rows and 16,000 columns per worksheet. Microsoft Office Excel Workbook A Microsoft Office Excel Workbook is a file that contains one or more worksheets that you can use to organize various kinds of related information. By default, a new workbook contains three worksheets. You can also add and remove worksheets as needed. You may also rename these sheets as per your requirement. Starting Microsoft Excel You already know how to start any application in Microsoft Office. You are also familiar with the new Microsoft Office Fluent User Interface, in which the complex menus and toolbars have been replaced with the ribbon. Commands and features are now easier to find on task-oriented tabs that contain logical groups of commands and activities. Many dialog boxes are replaced with drop-down galleries that display the available options and descriptive tooltips or sample previews are provided to help you in choosing the right option. Now let us start working with MS Excel. Click on MS Excel icon and you are presented with the new workbook with three worksheets. See the following screen. Parts of MS Excel window. The name of a worksheet appears on its sheet tab at the bottom of the screen. By default, the name is Sheet 1, Sheet 2 and Sheet 3. But you can give any worksheet a more appropriate name. To rename a sheet, Right-click on the Sheet tab you want to rename and select Rename. Type the appropriate name and press Enter. To delete a sheet, right-click the Sheet tab of a worksheet that you want to delete. Click Delete. Enter data in worksheet cells. The data that you enter can be numbers, text, date or time. You can format the data in a variety of ways. Enter text or a number in a cell. On the worksheet, click a cell. Type the numbers or text that you want to enter and then press Enter or Tab. Enter a date or time in a cell. On the worksheet, click a cell. Type a date or time as follows. To enter a date, 
use a slash mark or a hyphen to separate the parts of a date. For example, type 9 slash 5 slash 2002 or 5 hyphen September hyphen 2002. To enter in time that is based on the 12 hour clock, enter the time followed by a space and then type AM or PM after the time. For example, 9 colon 00, 00 pm otherwise excel enters the time as am to enter the current date and time press control plus shift plus semicolon fill data automatically in worksheet cells instead of entering data manually on a worksheet you can use the autofill feature to fill cells with data that follows a pattern or that is based on data in other cells. Use the fill handle to fill data. To quickly fill in several types of data series, you can select cells, press Ctrl key and drag the fill handle. Fill handle is the small black square in the lower right corner of the selection. When you point to the fill handle, the pointer changes to a black cross. Select the cells that you want to use as a basis for filling additional cells. Then drag the fill handle across or down the cells that you want to fill. Insert a symbol, fraction or special character. Click where you want to insert the symbol. On the insert tab, click symbol or equation. In the symbol dialog box, click the symbols tab and then do one of the following. Click the symbol that you want to insert or if the symbol that you want to insert is not in the list, select a different font in the font box. Click the font that you want and then click the symbol that you want to insert. Click Insert. Creating a new workbook. You can create separate workbooks for different purposes. To create a new workbook, you have the options. Create a new blank workbook. Create a new workbook based on an existing workbook. Create a workbook based on sample templates. Template is a workbook that you create and use as the basis for other similar workbooks. You can create templates for workbooks and worksheets. The default template for workbooks is book1.xlt. The default template for worksheets is called sheet.xlt. Caution: Don't use pen drive in your school's computer without permission of your teacher. It can transfer virus and you will be responsible for it. Create a new blank workbook. Click on File tab and then click New. A new workbook dialog box will appear. Under Available Templates, select blank workbook and click on create button keyboard shortcut to quickly create a new blank workbook you can also press ctrl plus n creating a new workbook based on an existing workbook under templates click new from existing in the new from existing workbook dialog box browse to the drive folder or internet location that contains the workbook that you want to open Select the workbook and then click Open. Create a workbook based on simple templates. Click File tab and then click New. Under Templates, click Sample Templates or My Templates. Do one of the following. To use a template, under Sample Templates, click the template that you want and then click Create. To use your own template, on the My Templates tab, double click the template that you want. Save a file. By default, the Microsoft Office programs save a file in a default working folder. If you want, you can specify a different location. Click the File tab and then click Save or click the Save icon on the Quick Access toolbar or press Ctrl plus S. If you are saving the file for the first time, you are asked to give it a name. Specify a location or else it will be saved in the default location or folder. Keyboard shortcut 
to save the file is controlled by SES. Exit MS Excel. Click on the File tab. Click Exit.